So now you have built your computer and you have installed the Windows 7 operating system. The last thing you have to do is install drivers that control the motherboard and the internal graphics. So at this stage, your newly built PC is up and running, but it's running on default drivers. So I'm now going to show you how to install the drivers that optimize your motherboard, which will make Windows 7 run more efficiently. We will set up your internal graphics driver so that you can set the screen resolution, recommended resolution for your motherboard. And we will install Microsoft Windows updates. And also we will install an antivirus program. You may have noticed that your display is not set to high resolution and it's probably set to a lower default setting, but it's far from the recommended setting like this monitor, which is 1920 by 1080 pixel resolution and the reason for this is your motherboard is using a default graphics driver which does not allow you to set your screen resolution to the optimum level so let me explain right click on your desktop and go down to screen resolution here and click on it and your screen resolution window will open the screen resolution for this one is on the recommended it's 1920 by 1080 pixels. That's because I have the driver installed here. So yours will probably be down here somewhere, like 1024 by 768, or maybe the 1152 pixels or 1280 pixels. But it definitely won't be set to the recommended one up here. So what we need to do is install the driver that controls your settings for your display now if you have a graphics card that you installed onto the PCI Express slot on your motherboard then you will have a disk with the driver on it for your graphics card and that driver should also be installed but I do recommend that you install the internal graphics driver just in case something ever happens to your graphics card you will have the option then of using internal graphics driver to run your monitor until you get a new graphics card. But this PC we are using for this demo does not have a graphics card, so we have to install the internal graphics driver. So let's install the motherboard drivers. Put the disk that came with your motherboard into the DVD player and give it 30 seconds or so to load and autoplay window will start running showing you an asus setup.exe file like this one here if this autoplay window does not open simply go to your computer and under devices and removable storage the dvd player will show the asus setup file just double click on it and it will open I'll just show you how to do that now. So go down here to start, click on start, go up here to computer, click computer, and under devices with removable storage, you'll see the ASUS file here. Just double click on it and that will open it. So we're going to use the autoplay window to open it. So we're just gonna close that and I'm gonna double click on the file here. Run ASUS setup.exe. And the ASUS support, motherboard support CD will start running like so. Now by default, it opens under the tab specials. So you can just see that there. So as I said, this window is called ASUS Motherboard Support CD and by default it opens on the Specials tab on the right here where it shows advertisements for Google Chrome and Google Toolbar for Internet Explorer and an option for um, installing Internet Norton Internet Security 2011. So to install the drivers go to the Drivers tab on the left side here and you will see options for installing motherboard drivers. So on this CD, you can 
install auto install the drivers by clicking on the asus install all drivers which is the preferred option so that you don't miss any of the important drivers you can of course install the drivers separately and if you're going to do it that way there is a few important drivers that you need to install and i'll just show you them here now so here's the list of drivers that you need to install the intel chipset driver Realtek audio driver Realtek lang driver intel graphics accelerator driver intel rapid storage technology driver management engine interface and AS Media USB 3.0 driver. That's just a quick list and I'll show you them now separately uh, just to explain them. So the first one here is the Intel chipset driver which controls your SATA bus, your CPU bus and your USB bus lines so that your motherboard will run efficiently with all input output features. That's the first one. Next here is the uh, Realtek audio driver. This is the audio controller for your onboard audio. And next here is the Realtek Lang driver, which is the controller for your broadband, internet and network connections to the motherboard. The next one here is the Intel Graphics Accelerator. This one is for, grow, for your internal graphics, which runs in conjunction with your processor and controls your monitor settings. So next here is the Intel Rapid Storage Technology Software Driver, which improves storage performance and power consumption. And it has a lot to do with the SSD drives, but also it does have a lot to do with the normal disk drives as well. So it should be installed. So next on the list here is um, Management Engine Interface for CPU management and performance. And it is, and it is essential if you're using um, .NET Framework, which most of Microsoft software uses. And the last important um, driver for this ASUS motherboard is the AS Media USB 3.0 driver, which enables high speed transfer and is also backward compatible with USB 2. So this is uh, the new version of USB 2, which is USB 3, which makes data transfer from your USB ports 10 times faster than your USB 2 option. So that's just a quick description of what drivers you need and a short version of what the drivers are used for. Just a brief note on Norton Internet Security. ASUS have put this security software on the drivers tab, but it's not a driver, it's security for your computer. This way they can get you to install it. But the terrible thing about this Norton security is that it's a trial version. And after 90 days you have to purchase it or uninstall it. The reason why I am telling you this is because there are better ways of securing your computer and they are free. If you want to find out more, go to my website at computerhelpmadeeasy.com. So let's install these drivers. We are going to use the automated ASUS install method. To get started, click the ASUS install button near the top here, and your disk will start loading. Now, an install window will open with three options. The first option here is installing drivers and recommended tools, which they state is recommended, but this will also install Norton Security, which I do not want to install because I will be installing Microsoft Security Essentials, which I will show you at the end of this video. So I'm going to go for option two here, customize the installation of drivers. The reason why I tick this one is because I get to pick what drivers I install. So it's just handy so you can leave out ones that you don't need. You can also go for um, the third option, install the drivers only, which will install just the drivers, but it'll be all the drivers. 
and that's fine too. Uh, you more than likely don't have any of the drivers anyway installed, so it's it's as good of an option as two. So if you want to pick three, option three, that's fine. But I'm going to go for option two so that I can see what I'm installing. So once you have selected your option, click OK. Option two for us. And a window with all the drivers will open up. And basically all you do is you select the ones you want. Now just simply click on the box to the left side of the drivers that you want to install. Just to recap on the drivers, Intel Chipset Driver, Realtek Audio Driver, Realtek Lang Driver, Intel Graphics Accelerator Driver, Management uh, Engine Interface, that driver as well, and ASM Media USB 3.0 Driver. Just to make a quick point here on under the status um, area here, it will say not installed for you if you're installing them for the first time. The reason why it's stating that it's updated here on this one is because I have the drivers already installed on this computer. So for you, it'll say not installed, just like the uh, Norton Internet security there. And over here under reboot, there will be um, a yes under the Realtek audio driver uh, here under reboot and possibly um, under Intel Graphics Accelerator driver here. Okay. So now we're ready to press go. So click it there, the button down at the bottom. Progress rate will start. You will see another window open before this one, this progress rate um, um, window opens. And it'll be just stating that your computer will reboot either two or three times during this process but just click OK on that window and this progress rate will start giving you an approximate remaining time of the install of the drivers so in this case it's 2024 and also if you hold hover the mouse over the progress rate here um, it'll show you the driver install it, as it's completing if you go in if you go up and look under status you will see the what drivers are being completed or what drivers are installing at the time so at this stage the intel graphics accelerator driver is installing here as you can see and the intel chipset driver realtek audio driver and realtek lang driver are already completed so, and then it goes down, management engine interface is preparing for driver install. And also is the ASM Media, AS Media USB 3.0 driver. So you will notice while these drivers are being installed that your computer will restart at least twice, if not three times. And then at the end, you will see the window for install is complete please restart your computer this window will open so at this stage all you have to do now is click OK and the install is complete and it'll restart your computer once more and once it has rebooted started up again all the drivers will be installed okay so just click the OK there on the the install is complete please restart your computer click the OK button there now once your computer restarts after installing all the drivers for your motherboard and your internal graphics you have to check a few things and the first thing we will check here is the screen resolution so right click on your desktop and go down here to screen resolution and click on it there the screen resolution window will open. What we're looking for here is to make sure that your screen resolution is set to the recommended setting. And in this case, it is set to 1920 by 1080 pixels, which is the recommended setting. So if it wasn't, you'd set it to it and then click apply and click okay. And your screen will go dark for a second and then another window will open asking you, do you want to keep this setting? and just click OK and it will 
then be reset to the recommended setting. Now, I was going to show you how to check for and set up Windows 7 updates and show you how to download and install Microsoft Security Essentials. But this tutorial has already gone over 15 minutes. And I like to keep these tutorials under 15 minutes so that you can digest and implement the information fairly quickly. So, the last video in the series of how to build a desktop computer will show you how to set up and check for Windows updates and download and set up an antivirus program for your new computer.